steam. <laughs> I have on this flash drive the Windows 10 upgrade. Now if anybody remembers that used to be a free upgrade until like July of 2016 or something like that. So let's see what happens now when we do that. I'll connect it to Wi-Fi and do everything the right way just to see if it complains and then if it does complain maybe we'll shut Wi-Fi off and see or change the date back. Let's see what happens. I'm actually going to copy everything from the flash drive to the system because it'll install a lot faster than that way. The latency on this flash drive is garbage. All that's copying, if you want to just take a look here, this has built-in Bluetooth. I'm sorry about the Moray pattern. NVIDIA GTX 480M, 460M. I'm trying to see this through the camera, so. It does have a Blu-ray drive, and Here's all the other crap. All those cores. NVIDIA High Definition Audio and ID, IDT. That's really it. Okay, now we have the Windows 10 installer. I have connected this to Wi-Fi. Now the Alienware is green. Microsoft Windows from Microsoft Corporation and Okay, let's see what happens. Ooh, Windows. Preparing. I wonder what will happen. I really don't know. Something tells me it, it will actually install and it may actually come up activated. This being a Alienware or actual Dell, you know, um, probably because it's pre-activated, this will actually work. Um, yeah, go ahead and download them, I guess. And I definitely didn't want to make Windows better. It's bad enough as it is. I'm not keeping 10 on here. I'm only doing this now, by the way, because 10 is such a piece of shit, and I already have to reload the operating system anyway, so I might as well. So I'll wait for this to go now. Okay, this just came up. License terms. Yeah, of course, that's fine. Oh, good. Now it's getting updates. So all that checking for updates before, and now it's checking for updates again. I wonder what it's actually going to find. We'll have to see. Okay, finally this came up. And uh, keep Windows settings, personal files, and apps. Fine. Just blow yourself up, and now it's going to install. And <laughs> we'll see what happens when that's done. Okay, it just rebooted and gave me this screen. So it's definitely doing its thing. Stuck at a big 0%, but copying files, ironically, is at 3%. So, we'll wait and see what happens. I'm really curious if this is actually going to be activated. Oh, Rijek. That would be a madism. It installed. I've clicked next. And now I'm going to run through all this crap here. Yay! Oh, I have to, I guess, select that. Alright. Use Express Settings. Next. Oh, wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted to see. That, that's, that's the Windows experience right there. Jeez. It won't even let you use the fucking thing. It wants to check for updates. That's ridiculous. Biggest crock of shit with Windows 10. Yeah, this won't take long, sure. There, it just came up, finally, after fuck knows how long. It's Windows 10. Oh, it's not... ridiculously... yeah, it's fucking ridiculously slow. Pretty speedy processor, 8 gig of RAM, yeah, I know that's not a lot for some of you fucking people out there, but uh, it's there. The question is, is Windows activated? Let me check. This hasn't even fucking loaded yet. Yeah, that's why I don't do 10. Windows is activated. So, you can still upgrade your machine to Windows 10 if you have the files. 
at least on something of a Dell variety. This, of course, being an Alienware, where the product key is sort of coded into the system. It worked here, uh, you know, that's all I could tell you. But anyway, we're going to wipe all this shit and put 7 on here so it could actually work like a real computer instead of a turd. That'll be the subject of another video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.